I got a crazy one for y'all. All right, so basically, I saw this video earlier. I'll link the video down below, but I try to distress pants, but I got the I got the sauce earlier. I got the sauce, and now I'm here finna drop y'all the sauce, goddamn. Just doing my own little mix-ups, you know what I'm saying, goddamn. So luckily, I found everything I needed at Goodwill. You're gonna need your backing fabric. We're gonna do some distressed pants. You need your backing fabric, you need your pants, you're gonna need some glue, and you're gonna need a machine to stitch it with and a whole lot of goddamn thread because this is going hey this is a real project y'all this ain't no quick three four hours this is a real project all right so i got a pair of pants i've previously made here and when i usually do darning i thought i was darning but i wasn't i just you know i i drum on my little hole i sew the back end on and then i do a little a little zigzag little darn stitch this is cool but you can make it look sturdier that's basically what the video i saw this morning was talking about bro was saying that if you glue the backing fabric on pre zigzagging is just the key bro it'll make it lay more flat so that's what i'm gonna try here for y'all today and it's gonna be my first pair that we're doing all over that's what we're doing today we're darning all right so first things first i'm gonna take my jeans and i'm gonna take this stitch all the way out like i said right here just popping the hem other hem And then uh, this is me getting it started on the chain stitch, just pulling that out. And this is basically just me distressing it. And you wanna go on the outside, go on the outside and just scrape it real lightly and then go back again a little harder and then it should pick up your um, your blue threads. And really, this is all the footage I have of me distressing because it just took so long. I started distressing these pants and I realized this is not no little two, three day excursion. I've been distressing these pants for four days and I'm still not done. But all I got is a little patch left. I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm gonna show y'all how I cut the backing fabric. And shit, we can get into the darning sauce, my nigga, shit. So I just finished distressing the last little patch. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and dip these in water to loosen up some of the threads. And I'm gonna throw them in the dryer for probably while I'm in the shower or something. Loosen up some threads, get the holes a little bigger. I got some holes already in here like this one, but I want more little, I want more white spots like that. I think they're the weft. I want more weft thread showing. So let me go ahead and dip these in water and dry them up. All right, so I just loosened some of these threads up. Look at this. Jesus Christ. 30 minutes, if that. The video also told me to iron them down. So we just lay the pants as flat as we possibly can and we're just ironing them down. And I actually love how these look already. Steaming my eyeballs. All right, and so this is me gluing it down and I tried gluing the denim, but low key, that's not the key. Glue the backing fabric and then press it onto the denim and then you know you can peel back the part you didn't glue, glue that and so on and so forth all the way up to the top. I got the backing on as much as I will with this patch and I guess we can just go ahead and do some darning now. All right, the key I found out about darning is just like hold it, pull it as tight as you can left and right so it'll stay flat and your foot doesn't get caught in the holes. And as long as you do that, I mean, you know, put on a good podcast, put on some music or something and darn away. It's gonna take a minute. We're back at it. Hopefully I can get the other leg done. Maybe get it a little further than that. Okay, so I got a, to a good starting point on my new leg and now I'm gonna just darn it up. Same sauce. I realize it gets harder as you get to the top because the jeans are shaped, you know, wider at the top but just persist and don't worry about it. Don't fuddle with it too much. Just go ahead and stitch it up. That's the best advice I can give you. Okay, I'm gonna chill right here. Go smash on this burger for lunch and then we're gonna get back into it. Had the greatest burger of all time and this is me getting the other leg.
And like every time you saw me stop, that's me fuddling with it. So try not to do that as much as you can. And just get the zigzags in, get the darning in. Okay, so this backing fabric is a little thicker than the denim. And in order to keep this one piece, I'm gonna cut this right here so I have more slack on this side and I can keep pulling this since I already sewed this side all the way up. So we're just gonna take it and right close, as close to the thread as possible, just snip so we have more pull on the other side. About three to four inches should be good, if that. Finish as much as I can on this leg. All right, I got to a good stopping point. I only got this tiny little section left on this pant leg, and then I can start making the patches for these spots, like the butt, like on the front. And yeah, and then we'll be done. All right, so I finished that little tiny patch I had left off camera. And now all I have to do left is iron this, go get some more freaking glue, and then make a little patch that fits. I don't know if you can see that, that white space and the empty space. So all that empty space right there, I need to make a patch that fits that, glue it down, zigzag that up. Same side on the back right there. And then I feel like if I do the back, it'll be easier to do the tiny patches on the front because I'll have some stability. So the best way to do this is kind of like a rub off. You just kind of see where the cuts are and then cut around it. And now that I just cut this out, I'm going to flip the pants inside out, put it back on and glue the backing on. What's good with y'all? You already know who it is. I believe yesterday was day six, so it's day seven. And I finished the pants, all I gotta do left is distress the pockets and then darn those up a little bit, the back pockets. While I'm here, man, y'all gotta let me know like what type of videos do y'all wanna see? Cause I'm just gonna keep making what I wanna make and I know y'all wanna see some crazy stuff. So just ask me, you know, you'll never know, I might make it. Go follow my socials, DM me on one of these accounts and let me know what you wanna see, I got you. All right. Making quick work of this, this is just pockets. Boom, 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 bam, bam, bam. Darn them up. Easiest part of the whole project for real. Boom, there we go. We darned up, got a little glue in there. Gotta wash out though. Now I just need to cut the excess around the edge and then sew them onto the pants. All right, and this is like basically me sewing on the same exact stitch that I popped out of the jeans. There should be a dotted line for you to trace. Yeah, and here they are in their glory. Looking like some jeans straight out of 1910s, 1530. I don't know how they made it this long, but they did. And I'm the only person with them. The shredded pants. Yes, sir. I think it took me about eight days total. And I guess if I had to do them again, I try to be more even with the Dremel. But overall, I love them. They're crazy. I had to put on the, the double bubble Brooklyn fit for y'all. They're just giving, I don't know, archive vintage vibes. I decided to just put the pockets back on normal. I was gonna do something crazy with them, but I don't know, I just wanted them like this. Here's a little close-up shot for y'all. Man, the hours it took, but it was worth it. The bubble down to the shoes is crazy, but I, I just did it for y'all. You know, I had to throw on the double, the triple bubble, really. All right, I took the double bubble off. 
but thank y'all for making it to the end of the video it means the world to me and if y'all want to stay up on the latest fashion tips you know have some ideas for anything you want to sew you want to make gifts for loved ones make sure y'all hit that subscribe button make sure y'all follow me on my socials and remember the past because that's what made you the person you are today